Hello my dear students today our topic is the treasure within before we start our lesson let me ask you all have you all seen movie like three idiots and tare zameen par if yes then our lesson is a bit clear to you all our lesson talks about every child is a potential achiever and is unique in its style of learning and areas of interest students this chapter is based on a conversation between miss bella raja editor of spurs a newsletter from the resource center the valley school bangalore and mr hafiz contractor one of india's leading architects students let's try to find out what is the message of the story to you all let's start with the summary hafiz contractor was a very unhappy school boy in the first and second year he was a very good student from the third standard onwards he seemed to have lost all interest in studies he was particularly afraid of mathematics he had nightmares about a math examination he dreamt of appearing in the examination not knowing anything at all about the subject contractor loved action not theories as a student contractor was interested in games and playing jokes on others he was a very good sportsman he was the senior champion for many years he was also the captain of his school cricket team contractor passed his examination only by copying however when he approached his class 11th the principal called him and said look here son i have been seeing you since day 1 you are a good student but you never study i have taken care of you till today now i can no longer take care of you you have to take care of yourself he talked to him for 5 minutes he exhorted contractor to rise to the occasion and study the principal's advice had the desired effect on contractor he would go for prayer and all he would do was eat and study as a result he got 50% in his ssc contractor was being interviewed by miss bella raza she asked him if w- she asked him if he was punished at a school contractor replied that the teachers pulled him up regularly he would receive a caning every week however he never felt anything on that account he was more interested in playing contractor was just interested in playing and nothing else he was also the leader of a gang he would have gang fights and plan strategies these things interested him more than the books one day he did not want to study so he created a distraction for one whole hour they played chor police after school contractor wanted to join the army his aunt wouldn't allow it his mother won't allow him to join police force either she asked him to do his graduation it was by using some influence that he got admission in jai hind college there he had to study french being weak at french he had to take his married cousin's help her husband was an architect so he started going to an architect's office to learn french one day in the architect's office he saw somebody drawing a window detail the window detail is a very advanced drawing contractor told him that his drawing was wrong he added that the window he had drawn would not open there was a bet which contractor won he surprised 
This surprised his cousin's husband. He asked him to draw a few specific things. Contractor did that at once. The man was so impressed that he asked contractor to drop everything and join architecture. That architect took him to the principal of the college. In the college for architecture, nobody who had got below 80 to 90 percent was allowed to enter. Contractor had only 50 percent. So the principal warned him, I will allow you to take part in the entrance examination, but if you do not do well, I will not allow you to join. Contractor got an A plus in that entrance examination. After that, it was a cakewalk. He stood first class first throughout after that. Contractor never made a plan. One of his teachers, Mrs. Gupta, had told him, You are useless in everything, but you sketches, your sketches are good. She had advised him to be an architect on growing up. When he became one, he went back to meet her and told her so. Contractor was bad at languages. His math was also very bad. In fact, he never applied his mind to them. He was in a boarding school where every day was a new day for him. When there were tests, he just cop copied. Those who always stood first and second in the school are doing ordinary jobs. As for himself, the school's life made him street smart. He learned more by what he did than what the books taught him. At school, contractor was interested in nothing and not in books. If it rained outside the class, he would think of the flowing water. He would forget the lecture and think about the flow of water within the dam. He would wonder how much water would the dam hold. Discipline in his school was very important. Sometimes a student would lose a button while fighting. In that case, he would run to contractor. Contractor would cut a button from a chalk using a blade. No one could then see that his real button was missing. He would get past dinner with a full neat uniform. Today, when a client comes to contractor, he looks at him closely. He would observe his face, clothes and manners. Then that gives him an idea of his taste. He is able to relate to people in a way that would be comfortable. Then he makes a sketch spontaneously. He gives it to his people in the office. Contractor says his sketches are his mathematics. He puts design, construction, psychology and sociology together. Make a sketch from all that is contractor's definition of mathematics. Students, this was all about the story and here we get to see that each and every child is different in its own way. It's not necessary that everybody will be actor, singer, doctor, engineer. Different children will have different qualities. It is up to them which quality they can nurture, in which field they have lots of interest. So, which makes them unique. They need to analyze their own capabilities and parents, teachers should also believe on them. So, this chapter talks about the hidden talent of each and every child that one should nurture. By this, we complete our class. If you have any questions, you can drop a message in the WhatsApp number. Thank you everyone. Take care.